from the ASP.NET Core repo. This is a Razor Pages app, which isn't a problem. If we run the app, which I've checked out, we can see that it's pretty, pretty simple. But we'd like to add some new features to it using Core Admin. So here's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Uh, we can search, uh, I suppose, along so. Just imagine this is an existing app that you have. Um, we're going to add this lovely Core Admin NuGet package to it and see if we can get some features for free, which is what we love. So we're going to stop this, back to your terminal, set a key. Okay, cool. So the magic words are .NET add package core admin, which we've now installed the NuGet package. And now in our configure services, we can go to services dot add core admin like so and run the app imagine this is a, an existing app that you have that uses entity framework and it doesn't matter what database engine you're using so yeah it still works that's cool but if we visit core admin here we get the core admin home and now we can have a look at all the database tables in here uh, and we can do filters, so let's do starts with an M. It's cool, and this is all happens on your database using curried and deferred queries, which is nice. We can edit it, so we can go uh, nice stuff, edit, and that's been renamed there. All in DB. Happy days. We can create a new course, check the enrollments, students, instructors, and so on. Now. We see that we've got this security thing in here. This is a warning, so this won't work in production mode because you haven't set up any security. So, assuming that you've got a login system and roles set up, you just need to set a list of roles in here. So you might want an admin or a DBA to be roles in there. And if your user has logged in and has those roles in their user principal, only those users will be able to access the app. So, for example, there is no security on this app. So if I run it again, it won't let us in, in theory. So if we now visit core admin, 